Welcome back to another classic Terminators matchup. I'm your host, Ryan Vincent, and tonight we got the Terminators versus the Recipe. Live from Platonized Delta in beautiful Delta, British Columbia, this is Beer League Hockey. With me, Kelvin the Cat. Yeah, we're looking forward to some action here. We got the Terminators versus the Recipe, and I want to see what's cooking. That's right, so do I, Calvin. In between the pipes for the Terminators, it looks like AJ has finally made an appearance. As flaky as he has been this season, it's good to see him in between the pipes when he is. And on the other end, we'll be having a look at the Recipe right there with Wells in between the pipes, wearing that Miller Buffalo jersey for uh, the Recipe, and all the other players have those red jerseys with yellow and white trim yeah he's a little off on that one but you know what <laughs> we'll let his actions speak for themselves let's see what this guy's made of that's right calvin uh I, i'm surprised that the referees let him get away with that we've had to change goalie jerseys to match our jerseys so uh you're right yes we have well, what are they paying off what are they giving the rest oh and it's wayne so he's definitely getting paid off there we go uh starting in the action pope from his own zone pope feeds it over to slim tug slim tug can't handle it Lando's picks it up Lando's looking less rusty this game i like to see that yeah, he's starting to find his legs, it looks like. He's got more confidence. He, he looks a little happier out there, too. He's, I thought I'd see him smile at the start, so that's a really good start. It is a good start. It's number 96 for the oh, uh, the recipe. I'm getting myself backwards. If someone's on the ground, it's Slim Tud scrambling for that puck. And, oh, my goodness, this is a typical beer league play right here. A whiff by 96 Fiddler. Slim Tug hits the boards, takes a seat, and uh, can't finish the playoff. Humpty Dumpty on the sidewall. <laughs> That's what it was. He broke his shell right there. A uh, nice little dangle by Simonson right in front of the camera as he gains his own of the recipe. Feeds it over to Richardson. Richardson trying to make an in tight move. Has a shot. Uh, I don't know where the puck went, but Slim's after it with that rat tail of his. Throws it towards the net. How did that not go in? Oh, my God. Let's have another look. Turns around, has a quick shot. Just oh. inside. Oh, oh, he just got the pad on it. Yeah, that was really, really close. I thought it was going in. Great save. Huge save by Wells. I thought that one was for sure a Terminator's goal. As uh, 87, Scott has it for the recipe. Throws it right out front. Number 22, Sarah. Got a piece of it as Big Keith is body and a recipe player down below. Um, recipe trying to cook something up here. Uncle Bud stretching after that uh, puck. Uncle Bud has it in his own zone. In the neutral zone. Uncle Bud turning on the Jets lines up for it. An unorthodox clapper and Wells gets a piece of that. Look at the look at the physique on Uncle Bud. Look at the style. <laughs> yeah, and you know, he pulled out the cutting board right before that shot. You see a couple of really solid chops and he just gives her a tune. Uh, you know, just wasn't quite low enough. I think he's gotta gotta bring that down. He needs to tune up that style a little bit. <laughs> that shot as the recipe retaliate almost instantly, and Needham gets the first goal of the game for the recipe putting them up one to nothing over the terminators yeah you know uh they just left him too too open and that's what happens on the back door nice. as you can see oh and he just gets it over the blocker that's a tough one but hopefully the terminators can turn it around and get it back a backhander on the back door nice apple by awful nice uh nice backhand goal on the back door by needham he needed that goal for the recipe and he got it one to nothing, the recipe over the Terminator so far. All right, here we go, back in action. We got Eric, dishes the puck up, over to Max, cuts across, over to Brock. Oh, oh nice save by Wells. Uh, the recipe pick it right back up, number 77, dishes it up to 22. Sarah, Sarah feeds it up, right to number one. Who wears number one as a player? What is going on? That is the goalie jersey, and they left their goalie high and dry with a Buffalo jersey. What is up with that? Yeah, that's a real big shirt. Um, you know, look at look at the baggage on that thing. It's that thing looks like it's meant for butterbean. <laughs> <laughs> Picked up by Fiddler on the far side. Fiddler throws it towards the net, and I say by AJ. Landos is trying to shuffle the puck to AJ to get him to freeze it and almost scored on his own goalie. We're going to run it back here. Fiddler throws it. Now what? keep an eye on Landos. He's throwing it. He takes a shot on AJ. I think he got a little help by number 22, Sarah, the recipe. But still, Landos is like, oh, man, I'm sorry, buddy. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, yeah, that looked a little awkward. It's almost like introductory to hockey, you know, uh, 
It was a little weak. Yeah, well, watching the Terminators is an ever a never ending introductory to hockey as McPherson comes out of nowhere, feeds it to Walters, and there's a beautiful goal by the Terminators tying this game up. Max got the goal, McPherson got the apple. That was a great goal. McFeedson, if I ever seen it. Yeah. Look at that backhand <laughs> sauce. Yeah, right off of the faceoff. Nice work by Max to get in there. Get that stick. He's poking it forward. He keeps pushing it. McPherson jets up, handles it, feeds it right back to Mad Max, and he goes crazy in the Badlands, putting the Terminators up. Uh, or sorry, tying the game up for the Terminators. Feed the beast, Mad Max with a beauty. That's right. I like the BC jersey that McPherson's wearing, too. Um, I think that's vintage. Uh, maybe he's coming straight from Miners here. I don't know. Yeah, you know, that came from his prep camp. Definitely, right? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that, too. And if anything, uh, if he continues to play like that, then it's, I'm sure it's true. Uh, here we go. 11 skinny numbers on the back taped on Odell. Odell working it. Odell has a shot. Nice blocker save by AJ. Oh, he walked in like a house robber. That was unbelievable. I don't know how the defense is going to let that, but if they continue that, there's no way they're going to have success. Why is his number so skinny on the back? Oh, what's going on? Skinny numbers. Um, here, here we go. Skinny numbers. 11, 11. Makes a feed up to 96. Fiddler, the Fiddler on the roof. Throws it and eats a cross check from Big Keith. And Simonson collects that puck. Simonson throws it over to Big Papa Pope in the Terminator zone. Big Papa Pope. Stretch pass all the way to no one. To the goalie of the other team. On the backhand, Simonson puts it up and over the net. As Johansson goes to collect it, but he skates, over skates it. As Fiddler on the roof. Comes back into the Terminator zone. Fiddler taking the near side. Has a shot. AJ makes a first save. Keith trying to get that puck out. It's held in by Ofo. Ofo has a shot. And that was a really nice goal by the recipe. Putting them up 2-1. to one. A beauty by Ofo. Yeah, what a ring. And right up top. Gotta love a nice shot like that. Absolute beauty. 96, Fiddler has an initial shot. AJ makes a quick save. Big Keith tried to clear it, but Awful got in the way. And Awful with a uh, opposite of Awful shot. That was a fantastic shot. Yeah, it sure was. Great shot. Great goal. Uh, the recipes are up yet again here. 2-1, to one, the recipe over the Terminators so far. Yeah, we're starting to see what's cooking here. And uh, you know what? It's 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 a lot of offense coming from the recipe. It is, Calvin. And you know what? I believe that they were brought down from uh, lower division to our division. So you'd think that the Terminators would have some sort of chance, but it's not looking that way right now. As the cock's on the ground, we're going to have to see what he's flopping around down there. Big Keith with the hook right there. The cock goes in, trips over his stick after that, and he goes head first. That was actually nasty. Yeah, no, it didn't look good. He uh, he rung his bell pretty good there. Hopefully, uh, he's he's going to be okay. I hope so. It was all because that stick, uh, the recipe player, I believe, lost control of the stick. He let, it lost grip of it, and uh, Brock tripped over it. But he's up. He's making his way back to the bench, and here we go. Play continues on with Mad Max. Nice drop pass right to McPherson, trying to return the favor of his earlier goal that he had. Uh, but it's a recipe. You have control of it. Try to flip it up. Held in. Intercepted by McPherson. And feeds it over to Uncle Bud. And Uncle Bud does something very rare for himself. Scores a goal. Oh, yeah. Number 33. He's a, he's a real threat out there. McFeetson with the second assist of the game. We got to love that. Love it. And look at that apple, too. He gloved it right out of the air like Scotty Pippen feeding Michael Jordan. Except Uncle Bud is not Michael Jordan. Uh, he's anything he's far from it. But that was a nice goal, so I got to give it up to him. Uh, great, great goal, Uncle Bud. Yeah, it's about time he finished, and we love to see it. There it is. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Two to two. It's all tied up here. This exciting game. Seven minutes left to go in the first period. Oh, Dustpan Dennis just falls down. I thought I seen like an absolute whirlwind tornado come off of him at that point. I don't know if tornado. Is, oh, tornado is actually playing in this game. As there is a trip right now. Wayne is making the call. We're going to have to run it back. Right there, number 22, Sarah tripped up Dusty Pan Dennis right off of the face off. And Sarah's going to have to go sit. Uh, he's going to have to bring the broom and sweep up the dust that Dennis left behind for him. 22, 2-2, two, two, and you're sitting for two. That's it. As Pope has a puck, Pope fires it right up front to Dusty Pan Dennis. And Dennis looking more like a diamond out there with that goal. Shaking off the dust and getting on the board. Gotta I, love it. I absolutely love that. Uh, we've seen a lot of dust this season from Dennis, so I love when he can shake that off and, and really let his inner diamond shine. It's either, he's, he's either Diamond Dennis or Dust Pan Dennis. And right here, he's looking like a diamond. 
Oh, yeah, there's nothing blue about that goal. No, no, that's a blue diamond right there, <laughs> Calvin. Um, He's nice. definitely not feeling blue after he put one in. No, he is not. He's got no visor either. You notice that? He's playing old school. Yeah, you know what? You it feels like... Feels like Donald Brashear. You gotta respect that. <laughs> Three to two, the Terminators have finally taken the lead, I think for the first time in how many hockey games? Uh, two, three, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's nice to see. We finally got a jump on them. We do indeed. Uh, or they do indeed. Sorry, we're just a couple commentators calling the game. Uh, this is live here at Planetized Delta. We're calling the game. It's crazy. It's edited. It's live. Don't ask me how it happens. Uh, the recipe down below is getting hacked by Peck. Puck gets away from him as Lazy Landl throws that puck over to the near side boards. Intercepted by 77. Awful as Slim takes a dive and there's a penalty on the play. Yeah, they got lucky, you know. Uh, Levin really lost the corner, lost oh, the puck no in the penalty. corner there. No oh. penalty. I thought there was a penalty. I oh guess, wow! I, I guess it was an offside. Okay. Oh, nice stop by Jordy and the puck. Uh, AJ. <laughs> AJ. <laughs> It's all right, Calvin. We're figuring it out. Uh, back in the action. Ruth for the recipe. Feeds it over to Skinny 11. Right back to Ruth. Ruth on the near side. Uh, a little help from Fiddler. Puck right out front. Dust Bandana is trying to clear it, and they finally get it out. A slim tug has it on the blind backhand, which actually connects to another player, which doesn't happen very often. Simonson feeds it right back to Slim Tug, who whiffs on it. Oh, that almost worked out. Someone would have been on the back door. We would have been looking at a goal. But nonetheless, great observation by Simonson. Always looking over his shoulder and finding the guy when he's open. Yeah, number seven, uh, sorry, 77. Feeds it up to two. Needham. Needham, who has one goal already for the recipe, trying to go through Simonson. He can't. Opal has a puck, shoots it towards it. Anzinger going to collect that rebound on the near side as the seconds tick down. And I believe right about now, that's going to be the end of the first period. Three to two. The Terminators over the recipe so far. Well, the Terminators got to be happy with the first. They're on top, and like they started it. out strong. Yeah, they sure did. Uh, diving into the second here, we got the the recipe battling out with Brock, number 14. Hoffman feeds it up to Skinny 11. Skinny 11 there feeds it over to in the front. Number one, goalie jersey has a shot, but goalie jersey gets shut down by an actual goalie wearing the proper jersey. Yeah, you know, what a nice pass by 11. And, you know, speaking of 11, 11-11, 11, 11, I bet you he was wishing his partner uh, had finished there. I was thought you were going to say, I bet you his partner wishes he was wearing a proper jersey, not the goalie jersey. Uh, speaking of goalie jersey, there he is right now. Gets checked up by Pope. Pope behind the net of uh, AJ. Pope getting pressure right now. Backed up as Simonson there to help his friends out. Gets stripped by goalie jersey. Goalie jersey has a shot just up and wide of AJ as McPherson comes back to collect that puck. McPherson throws it up. Uh, Big Keith handles it. Big Keith right up to Simonson. Simonson gains his own of the recipe. Simonson feeds it over to McPherson. McPherson fires it. A sharp angle shot and McPherson gets another one for the good guys here tonight. Oh, he's all over the place tonight. Gotta love it. He's he's feeding pucks. He's dishing them in the back of the net. He's all around there tonight. And uh, what an what an effort there. What a game by McPherson. McPherson fed up to Big Keith. Big Keith up to Simonson. Simonson, how did McPherson get up there already? And lets a sharp angle shot go almost on the goal line. Pick the far blocker side with these. This kid is having himself a game, Kelvin, and I love to see it. That's right. I agree. Fantastic goal by McPherson. Uh, four to two, the Terminators over the recipe so far with 13 minutes left to go in the second period. Yeah, here we go, we got 87. Is that Crosby? What a pass across. <laughs> oh, but they just missed it. Here we go, they turn the puck back around, number 69 with a shot, but AJ's too sharp. He is, he is, he snagged that puck up. AJ's looking good, he's looking for a win. On camera, statistically, AJ doesn't have many wins, I don't believe, for the Terminators. Uh, so he's definitely looking to get that big W. Uh, back in the action here, Mad Max battling in the recipe zone. Oh, stick goes flying, I don't know what happened there. Uh, we're going to run it back and see, I, I kind of missed it. As, uh, oh, a stick just got caught up in 96 Fiddler's arms, and Fiddler just put that stick to the roof. Fiddler's green, and the stick goes flying. That's right. He was feeling pretty Irish right there with that play. Uh, McPherson has it on the far side. McPherson dangling. Throws it right out front, and Wesley couldn't figure out. He couldn't match the skill level of McPherson and just flopped. Yeah, you know, that was close, but uh, I think he just lost co uh, contact with the puck, and it, it just didn't work out for him, unfortunately. It did not, as there's a whistle on the play, a body contact. I missed it because I'm a plug. And we're going to run it back. Here's Mad Max, and it was just out of screen. You could see it was over here on the far side. Mad Max 
threw a little bit of a body check against the boards. He's going to have to go sit for that. There's no body check in a beer league, unfortunately. It is what it is. Yeah, you know, that's par for the course with the Terminators. Yep, yep. We still body check, even though there is none. Uh, 11 skinny numbers has a shot, and AJ makes the save. Oh, 11 again. I bet you he wish he scored there. I bet you he wish he had fuller numbers like all the rest of his team. Uh, you know, really stands out. There you go. The recipe throw towards the net. AJ again makes a save. No problem. Yeah, another solid stop by AJ. He's in position. Read the puck well and scooped her up with the glove. Great save. It was a fantastic save. I don't even know why we're slowing that down. It wasn't like a super good save. I don't think it was slow motion worthy. But there you go, AJ. <laughs> There's one for you. As Landels fights off 87 on the puck, throws it on the near side boards, intercepted by 14. But Landels continues on. He spots the blue bucky of Dust Pandanus. Dust Pandanus feeds it up past Max. Right to Slim. Slim winds up. And that was a big save by Wells. A point blank clapper. I love that our league allows that in beer because I've heard that some leagues don't allow that and I think that's absolutely dust. Yeah, it is. And you know what they say? Sometimes don't think, just shoot. And that's what happened there. <laughs> that's right. Mad Max has that puck on the near side. Feeds Peck over on the blue line. Peck fires it towards the net through traffic. Whacking away. Big Keith throws a body down. And you know what? There's a big scramble. Big Keith seen an opportunity to push someone and he took it. Yeah, I know. He, he will do that. And uh, as we've seen in prior games, you know, he's a force in front of that net. He is, he is. Especially between or in front of our goalie. You don't want to be battling in front of our goalie with Big Keith there. As uh, the referee's there to call a hooking play, and uh, I was too busy idolizing Keith to see what happened here. So we're going to run it back and see what happened. And uh, I'm still waiting for the hook. Yeah. I still haven't seen one yet. Not much of a call there. Oh, man. Oh, Wayne, I was going to want that one back. Uh, I mean... Is in my opinion only, but that was a pretty weak call. Oh, have a look. That clo uh, skinny numbers actually has a Cloverdale Colts practice jersey on, so he's uh, probably coming straight from minor hockey. Oh, yeah, okay. It all makes sense now. It, it all makes sense now. That's right. Uh, back in the action we go. Anzinger from the point on the backhand feeds it over to McPherson down low in the corner on the far side. McPherson backhands it right over to Walter, but Wesley tries to intercept it, and he does. Almost tripped over his own feet, but he got that puck back to Anzinger, who lets it go. Uh Puck steered wide. Pope on the near side picks it up right from that blue line. Pope winds up, has a clapper. McPherson was looking for the tip, and Wells shut him down. McPherson cannot bury it. He had chance after chance there. Snipes has that puck from the corner. I don't know why I call him Snipes. He hasn't been doing that all season. Feeds it over to McPherson there on the far side. McPherson trying to settle down that rolling puck. Can't do it, so he backhands it to Anzinger. Fires that puck all the way back in. Handled by Max. Gets out to Wesley. Wesley has that puck. Backhands it right in front of McPherson. Who has a shot and scores. McPherson gets Goal number two for himself. And, man, this is probably his breakout game this year for the Terminators. Yeah, you know, he's looking great. And the Terminators were all over the recipe on this play. Uh, they, they, they just put the pressure on, hemmed him in their zone, and they were all over him. You know, I wish my wife was all over me like the Terminators were all <laughs> over the recipe on this play. <laughs> I couldn't have said it any better myself, Kelvin. Uh, great goal by McPherson. This kid is something else, I tell you. He's having himself a game. 5-2, to two, the Terminators over the recipe so far. All right, back in the action. We got number 77. Awful. Awful coming down. Passes it across. Oh, quick shot and a great save by AJ. Yep, Pope trying to get that puck out, but it's held in by Needham. Needham working the boards. He's got number 22, Sarah, to help him out. Sarah was looking for Needham, but he finds number 58, Ruth. Ruth has it. Spins around, has a shot, hit the side of the net as Pope goes to collect that puck. Pope firing all the way out, held in by Uppel. Uppel finally, uh, not much skating there by Uppel, but no one's surprised at that. As, uh, the recipe, number 22, Sarah comes back around. Nice work by Pope. Pope doing what Apple can't, playing hockey, as he throws a puck just up and out of reach of Simonson. I thought that was going to be an icing call. Oh, I thought the same, but uh, we're going to carry on with the play here. Oh! oh! Simonson gets shut down on the wraparound of Apple! Oh! Labels one point blank right in front of the goaltender. Put everything into that clapper about 10 feet away from him. Mainly that gut is what helped him with all that power on that slap shot score. Send that guy to All-Star Weekend. What a clap bomb. <laughs> That was a competition-style shot, and he made it count. He really did, Calvin. It all started, I mean, look at this. Simonson on the wraparound, gets shut down by the paddle wells. Um, 96, Fiddler mishandled it right to Apple. And look at number 77, Awful, have to jump out of the way because he's seen the gut of Apple, and he knew that that shot was going to be coming right from the stomach area and very powerful. He didn't want anything to do with that. 
laser beam. <laughs> Six to two, the Terminator's over the recipe so far. Uh, recipe coming back, trying to return fire uh, after giving up a lot of goals here. The Terminators are looking fantastic here tonight. Yeah, they're pouring on the offense. Six two game, looking good. And uh, you know, it's about time they, they get their legs back and get it all figured out. Honestly, Calvin, when we sat down here to commentate this game here live at Planet Ice Delta, I wasn't expecting to see this kind of game for the Terminators yet. Here we are with AJ playing solo between the pipes too. Another shocking moment for me as I've seen him let in more goals than uh, Luongo back in the day when he wasn't in his prime. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he's got to have a smile on his face under that mask right now, the way he's playing. Uh, you know, it's it's a one-off at this point, and uh, it's nice to see him really have some success. It is. It is indeed. I, I like to see it. Uh, as you can see, the fans in the stands are going wild right now. Uh, as the, the recipe handle that puck. Skinny Love gives it a goalie jersey who gets shut down by uh, AJ. Wow, shut the door like my ex-girlfriend. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I shut the door on my ex, actually, so I can't relate. Uh, here we go. Uh, I mean, shut her out. You know what I mean. Uh, 87, and that's the end of the second period. 6-2, the Terminators over the recipe in this super fun and exciting game for us to call. Yeah, let's see if they can pour some more salt in the wound here and make this a, a bigger lead. Oh, Apple almost oh. had a two-goal game, something we haven't seen since he weighed a, like the, an average human back in 2009, 2010. Yeah, no, two-goal game, super rare. I mean, it's super rare to see him, him show up. I, we don't see him in the games a lot here when we're commentating, so just to see him out here is is, is a big surprise. It is, it is, and it's nice. It's a it's a it's a good surprise. We'll take it as AJ makes a save. Back in the action we go. Um, the recipe number sixty nine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's only one sixty nine allowed on the ice, and that's Slim Tug, um, in the, on the near side. Goalie jersey getting pressured by Peck, helped out by Wesley. Big scramble right now as Goalie jersey gets away with that puck. Goalie jersey from the recipe spins around Peck, uh, trying to throw it. There's a big battle going on out front, too, with the uh, coach and someone else. Yeah, well, it looked like 1 4 there. Yeah, I'm not too sure. As uh, Lionel's is pressuring number 22, Sarah. Sarah has that puck getting pressured by Lionel's from behind. Just getting taken by Lionel's from behind. And uh, the referee blew a whistle. And now, I don't know about this one. It didn't look like. A penalty to me, but maybe we'll see something happen in slow motion. Oh, right there. There's the hook. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Landos. Yeah, he yeah. kind of grabbed his jersey there. He was on a mission. And speaking of mission, look at those gloves. They're from, they're from 2002. So, yeah, you know, maybe we need to get an upgrade. <laughs> I think those are the same hockey pants that I used to play in the turn areas a lot back in the 20, 2009. Uh, and I think before that, I used them in minor hockey. So, they're... Uh, an ancient artifact is on the ice tonight for the Terminators, Kelvin. Yeah, yeah Bantam Classics at that. <laughs> Here we go. McPherson all alone with Wells. Backhand to Reeves oh. looking for Mad Max again. He almost got the same play uh, that he started off with to get that first or second goal for the Terminators, him and Mad Max. Oh, yeah, what a connection. And, you know, McPherson, he's got a hot stick tonight. And speaking of hot, look at the hot pink tape job he's got. I, I think that's got to have something to do with it. I think so. Uh, maybe it's anti-bullying day. I don't know. Uh, nice ripper from Slim, though, and a nice glove by Wells. Yeah, no, that was a good track in the puck there. Great, great save there. There you go. Goalie jersey, number one, uh, going for a skate. Lionel's falls down but takes him down. Goalie jersey gives him a little shove after. Uh, Lionel's is slow to get up, and there's going to be a roughing call, it looks like. Yeah, Lionel's, he's got a number one fan, and we've seen him right there. Look at this play. Here he comes, gives him a little bit of a, that was pretty soft, you know, I don't know why he got so upset, but that's okay, you know, when, when your heart's in the play, your heart's in the play, and, you know, that, that happens. Good it, effort by number one. It was, it was. It looks like Lanos is a little off balance, he's just going to shove him, he kind of tripped over his own skates, and he's going to go to the box, because I know if he was not off balance, that would have been a lot harder uh, if he got all of that. Oh, for sure, yeah, no, he's like a freight train, that man. Oh, my goodness, speaking of a freight train, awful, just ripped that puck along the tracks and made it to its destination with an absolute beautiful goal by the recipe. Number 77, Ophel, gets his second goal of the game. We're going to run it back right off of the face off the 96 Fiddler. Fiddler fed it right to Ophel. Ophel, watch this, winds up a quick little snap. Boom! That almost went bar down. Oh, it did. Right up on the top shelf, right where the cookies are kept. 
Can't complain with that one. Beauty goal by 7-7. Yeah, but don't eat those cookies if you're 18 or under because I'm pretty sure there's some kind of medicinal substances in there. 63, the Terminator. 63, the Terminator's over the recipe so far. Hey, here we go, 77. He's got the puck again. This guy seems to be really moving out there. Here we go. He turns around. Oh! oh! Packs the train. He gets in the way, and that's going to be two minutes. The Karis wheel. We just seen it live in effect here at Planet Ice Delta. Number 77, Ophel. Well, Pets is hooking him, first of all, so that's probably where the penalty is. Look at him. Nonstop hooking, and watch as Pex just rubbed his side right there. Gave him a little shove. The old carousel going round and round. Pex just wanted to show him what it felt like to be back in elementary riding that thing, the, the spin wheel, whatever. Is it the carousel? What's it called? You know, that thing that goes around. The yeah, the, the Ferris wheel. Whatever Ferris it is. Wheel. You know, on the playground, they have that little thing. Oh, yeah. No... The spin wheel, I don't know. I know, I feel you. You know what I'm talking about. Back in the action we go. Max Walters on the far side has a shot. Nice save by Wells. Following up on the rebound. Trying to whack that puck in between it. And the ref finally blows the whistle down. Oh, we got some tough stuff in front of the net. Yeah, there's always tough stuff in front of the net, right? Until It's, it's easy to throw <laughs> tough stuff until it's time to get tough. Yeah, Some that's right. You know, Terminator just walked oh, away. Oh, my goodness. Speaking of tough, that's tough for the recipe. Look at this fantastic save by AJ. Gets down and gets the, the toe pad on that. Oh, shut the door. I think they should have been within two on that one. What a great save. They should have been. If it wasn't for AJ, they would have been. Simonson getting... Uh, Hooked a little bit by number 69, Dufour. Dufour throws that puck over to the far side. Uh, Wesley there to intercept. Wesley, little move. I don't think he meant to do that. Has a shot. Nice block saved by Wells. Is the recipe throw the puck all the way out, deep into the Terminator zone. I would think for an icing. Yeah, looks like they're starting to run out of wind here. They're getting hemmed in the zone, and uh, they're starting to get the puck out. And, and ice it, and it's starting to show. You know what? I'm just surprised that Upple's still on the ice after playing this much of a hockey game. Goalie jersey all alone with AJ, and oh. he completely fans on the breakaway and tries to put it on the backhand afterwards, but it's after the fact. It was already done. Maybe if he was wearing a player's jersey, he might have had more aerodynamics, got a better push off of it, and not lost the puck. Watch this. He's coming in on the backhand. The forehand, he loses control of it. A complete whiff. Yeah, he duffed on that like he was drinking duff beer, you know. He fell on the ice. Who knows what happened, but, he, you know, he, he just couldn't hang on to that puck. He couldn't hang on to it because his jersey was flipping and flapping all over the place. If he was wearing a proper size jersey, he wouldn't have had that issue. Yeah, that thing's like a parachute. <laughs> He's going skydiving right after this. He just wanted to wear his... <laughs> a parachute on him. Uh, here you go. Peck throws that puck on the near side. Dustpan Dennis going to collect it with that blue bucky. Throws it up. Uh, big battle here on the near side right in front of the camera. Big Keith working it with number two. Needham uh, as 21 gets away with it. I like how Keith just gives these subtle pushes everywhere he goes. <laughs> Yeah, he plays with big heart, Keith. He I, I love to see it. I love to see it. Me too. Three minutes left to go in this game. Uh, the time is ticking down as Dust Pandanus gets away with it. A clapper! A UFO just went flying in the sky, proving that aliens are real. Oh, my God. Yeah, he tried to get a load of that one, and luckily the defender got a stick on it. Who knows what would have happened if that got on net. I don't know, but Wells covers it up, and big Keith is all smiles at her. I love this guy's attitude. Uh, physical player, yet he's always happy to uh, to do it. Yeah, what a legend out there, Big Keith. He's a legend, 100%. Uh, here we go, the recipe. Trying to dangle, can't get around Walters. Mad Max in the neutral zone, gains his own of the recipe. He's got 96 Fiddler. Back to has a shot, and Mad Max scores! What a beautiful goal! That's Mad Max's second goal of the game, and I love when this kid scores, because this kid is all heart, he's all positive energy, and it makes me even more excited when he gets goals. Put him to sleep, give the ice a sweep. What a beauty goal by <laughs> Mad Max. I love to see that. That's what a hard effort play, and he puts it in and makes it count. Right here, look look at that bend on that stick, that flex. Put it right upstairs, right where Kelvin keeps those cookies that you don't want to eat unless you're over 18. And Mad Max does it again, his second goal of the game. An absolutely fantastic goal for the Terminators. Beautiful goal. 7-3, the Terminator is over the recipe with 1 minute and 55 seconds left to go in the game. Here we go, we got 87 coming back. In front to 11, oh! 
Oh, and he misses, misses the puck. And once again, 11 is making a wish as if that puck went in the back of the net. Yeah, so skinny numbers. That's what it is. As the recipe has another shot. And I say, but AJ, face off win by the recipe right to Yellow Bucky. Yellow Bucky, number 69. Do for throws that puck down low. Hit the referee's skate, it looks like. Uh, big battle right now. The puck gets away from them. Peck is, uh, nope, not Peck. Pope! Pope gives a goalie jersey a cross check right in the back there. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah, that was a bit of a sneak attack. <laughs> it was, yeah, that was a sneak. Definitely planned that. That was a blitz as uh, McPherson skating around circles with that puck. McPherson throws it over to Dusty Penn. Let's it go. Uh, can't get the dust in the garbage right there. Puck goes all the way out to the neutral zone. Peck making moves to get around goalie jersey. Fires it right over to Dust Pan again. Dust Pan from outside of the blue line. Let's it go. And uh, Yellow Bucky goes to collect it. It's Big Keith. Is, is he playing forward? Oh, did you see that? Big Keith had a stick all up in Yellow Bucky's face. Oh, yeah, no. They've been going at it all game. I've seen a little little exchange on each end. They, and uh, They have, eh? You know, you just... You just don't want to be in the corner with Big Keith. They're still going at it right now. You can see them. They're going back and forth. I'm, I'm getting a glimpse as I'm trying to follow the play, but those two don't like each other. And that's the end of the game. 7-3. The Terminators over the recipe. And a fantastic game by the Terminators. One that looked a lot better than the last game that we've seen, Kelvin. Great effort. They're going home winners. And they get to have a nice cold water. Yeah, nice cold water, beer, whatever you want. This is Beer League. Uh, it's Terminators. It's not Selly. We can say uh, more adult things if you want. Uh, a great game by the Terminators, nonetheless. Recipe put up a battle. They had a lot of shots. AJ played fantastic. Thank you and good night from Planet Ice Delta.